And speaking of the Mountain America Center, if you're into this sort of thing, Bachman Turner Overdrive is coming during their North American tour, July 22nd. Tickets start at $53. What exactly is that? Do you remember taking care of business? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you remember you ain't seen nothing yet? Okay, I'm dumb. No, no, you're not dumb. Because I think they arrived at their ticket price of $53 from the fact that they're a 50-year-old band with exactly three hits. And I just <laughs> named two of them and couldn't name another one. You know? Right, right. Randy, it was three brothers, Randy Bachman and two other dudes mm-hmm. who, are, who have passed on, rest uh-huh. in peace. And his son, Tal Bachman. Uh-huh. Does that name ring a bell? That name does ring a bell. Do you remember the song? She's so high. Yes, I fucking high love above that me. Song She's so love me, lovely. <laughs> I do know that song. Tal Bachman and I actually have a shared moment together. Really? We were together August 11th of 1999. Mm-hmm. Now you might think, Mikey, you have such a terrible memory. How could you remember that date? <laughs> I'll tell you why, Carly, because that was the date of infamy for Salt Lake City. We had an F2 tornado rip through town. Oh, shit. And Yeah. (laughs) Well, so there we were in the conference room at Star 102.7, now KSL Uh 102.7. And he was performing She's So High. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I really remember other than what I'm about to tell you about that day is I looked at Tal and I said, how do you get your hair so, it was just really smooth looking. Oh. And he was like, dude, hotel conditioner. Like really? he would get out of the shower, uh-huh. dry and comb his hair, and then just finger comb some conditioner through it. Oh yeah. I mean, leave-in conditioner is the thing. And that's when I and learned that And I get that, that that's maybe not leave-in conditioner, but it is technically conditioner that you're leaving in. Yeah. So you always think rock stars have a big budget to do whatever. Mm-hmm. Nope. Finger through yeah. hotel conditioner. I get it. So anyway, there was, come to find out, there was a street fair or expo or I don't know, something mm-hmm. where they had a bunch of tents uh-huh. next to the Triad Center. Oh, really? And yeah. There's a big parking lot there. Like in 2002, the Dave Matthews Band performed there for the Olympics. Oh, and, cool. You know, they nice. Um, but this F2 tornado ripped through town, caused $172 million in damages. Holy crap. These big white tents uh-huh. were ripped from the ground. Well, yeah. <laughs> and they were swirling. So we were right next to the temple. Oh, no. We were uh-huh. at 57 Southwest Temple, I mm-hmm. think, anyway, where Crossroads Mall was and where mm-hmm. um, City Creek is now. Mm-hmm. So you've been right there. Right, right. We're looking out the window with this apocalyptic white stuff swirling over the temple thinking, what's going on? So guess what we all did? What? We pressed our noses up against the window. Hey, guys, come and look. Is everybody seeing this? Take a look. so dumb. <laughs> that, that's the stupidest thing yeah. you can do during yeah. a tornado. Mm-hmm. We didn't know. Well, yeah. Well, and it sounds like you didn't even realize it was a tornado per yeah. se. Like you were just like, what's going on over there? But yeah, y'all should have figured it out pretty quick, but okay. <laughs> so Tal Bachman is playing with Randy Bachman on July 22nd at the Mountain America Center. Get your tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another funny thing with the whole uh, conditioner thing. So this week I kind of had to refurbish a doll. Mm. And um, I was looking up like tutorials on how to fix frizzy doll hair. You're always doing random crafty <laughs> stuff. I know, Jeez. I know. But I was looking up tutorials on how to like fix frizzy doll hair. And one of the, like one of the tutorials was saying you just leave conditioner in the doll's hair and then it looks nice and smooth, but you can Mm -hmm. also do it with fabric softener. And I actually personally think that that works better of the two, but yeah, so I, I actually completely just rub some downy in it. Yeah, basically. So I actually completely removed the hair because it was sort of on a wig cap type thing that was glued onto the doll. So I just completely ripped it off. Shampooed the whole thing, put just a ton of like a mixture of water and uh, fabric softener on it, rinsed that off a couple of times. And then at the end, I sprayed, I just like, you know, sprayed it on with a sprayer and just left a little film on it and then styled it and did like hairspray and stuff. And now it looks great. And, but just to be clear, you can't do that with human hair or you can? You cannot do that with human hair. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't think it would, I don't think it would give you the results you were hoping for. Right. Yeah. You'd smell fantastic, though. Yeah, you would. That's true. It is. We just got done with static cling season. Right. And I would definitely throw in a couple extra dryer sheets from, mm-hmm. like, 
December to February. Right, right. Yeah, to keep those sparks from flying. Mm-hmm. 